I'm Dr. Jeff Camarda with our stock of the month, um, selected uh, um, the, mostly because I enjoy their products. And as, as you probably know, Camarda's Portfolio Board uh, reviews uh, 60 stocks in our individual portfolios on an ongoing basis and selects those that we feel offer the best value um, in their respective um, uh, investing disciplines. So today we are talking about Tupperware. Tup, T-U-P is the symbol. And this was written primarily by Dr. Tang Bui. Camarda Financial's uh, Chief uh, Fundamental Analyst, um, with some additional commentary by me. Uh, Dr. Jeff Camarda Tang, by the way, is a university professor uh, at the State University of New York, Albany, um, and is a very, very talented uh, um, analyst that has been with us for a long time. Uh, so Tupperware, <coughs> excuse me, Tupperware Brands Corporation is a direct selling consumer products company, it sells food preparation, storage, and serving products, as well as cookware and microfiber <laughs> textiles under the Tupperware brand name, most of you I'm sure are familiar with at least many of their products. For 2016, Tupperware products represented 75% of income, I'm rounding. Um, there's more detail in the newsletter, the Paper Wealth Advisor, which goes out to clients monthly, with beauty and personal care products making up most of the rest at about 25%. Revenue is globally diversified with 34% from Asia Pacific, 25% from Europe, 25 from North America, 16 from South America. The company has strong cash flow, return on assets increased in 2016, and its profitability is higher than that of peers and the market in general, with a current return of equity of about 76%. <coughs> that's high, versus 16% for peer companies. That's right, 76% for Tupperware versus 16% for companies in similar industries, and uh, um, the, uh, versus only 21% for the broad market. So that's uh, pushing eight times better return on, on assets uh, than the, the market in general, or rather return on equity, I'm sorry, return on equity. The company pays a dividend yield of about 4.6%. That's pretty good these days with a payout ratio of 61%, leaving plenty of retained earnings for growth. Ten of its 11 directors are independent, which implies sound objective oversight of uh, um, the executive staff. Uh, the board recently approved the purchase of Tupperware for Columbia. That's our board recently approved, approved the purchase of uh, Tupperware the stock for our Columbia portfolio, which is a deep value portfolio. And we believe it to be an outstanding bargain, the essence of our value invest, uh, investing uh, um, uh, philosophy. So in addition for Columbia, the board also approved the purchase of Hewlett Packard, uh, Gilead Sciences, MSG Networks, Argon, uh, Argan rather, SP Plus, Time Warner, Wabash National, USANA Health, Gap, the Michaels Companies, Inovia, Applied Materials, Raw Stores, and LAM, LAM Research. For Viking, the board also approved the purchase of Allstate, Selenese Corp, Carnival, General Dynamics, uh, uh, Next Era Energy, um, and Affleck. Just don't call us quacks, particularly me, Dr. Come on, I'm not a quack, Dr. Zimbabwe, Affleck. And uh, for strong stock, we also approved the purchase of Magellan Midstream Partners Limited Partnership. And that concludes uh, my <coughs> commentary on stock in a month. I apologize for my somewhat um, lower energy uh, demeanor. I'm uh, feeling a bit under the weather and my lack of a teleprompter. Our quick primary video equipment is down. But hopefully you enjoyed and profited from these comments nonetheless. Uh, until next time, thank you so much for, work, uh, for watching. This is Dr. Jeff Camarda, hoping that you have a profitable week and I feel much better. Till, till later, bye-bye.